Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this video, we will be solving one equation square root x square plus 4x plus 4 equal to x square plus 5x plus 5. We have to find the real values of x. So let's get started. But before that, if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please do subscribe and give like impression also. So how I will start, I can see this is square root x square plus 4x plus 4. I can see it is the whole square of x plus 2. How? Just open this x plus 2 whole square. So x square plus 4x plus 4 it is. a square plus twice ab 2 times x times 2. So 4x plus b square. So 2 square is 4. So you will get x plus 2 whole square. So I will write this as x plus 2 whole square equal to x square plus 5x plus 5. Now I can see this term square root and this term will get cancelled out. But a square root of anything will give us plus minus sign equal to x square plus 5x plus 5. Now one function is called mod x function or absolute value function that is equal to x mod x will be equal to x when x is positive or equal to 0 and when x is negative it is minus x. So plus and minus sign reflects we can write this function as modulus of x plus 2 equal to x square plus 5x plus 5. So how it will be? See this is our x y axis. This is x positive. This side is x negative. This is your origin. You can see for x positive it is reflecting See, for x positive, it is reflecting the line y equal to x. So, for x negative, it is again line y equal to minus x. So, let me write this function in two cases. When x plus 2 mod x will be x and mod x will be minus x. So, I am writing case 1. Case 1 is x plus 2 is negative. See this case I am taking first. x less than 0. So x, what is x here? It is x plus 2. Inside mod, what is there? x plus 2. So if it is less than 0, so I will write equation will be minus of x plus 2 equal to x square plus 5x plus 5. Take all the term to one side. x square plus 6x plus 7 equal to 0. Now, it is quadratic equation. Of course, we will apply quadratic formula. So, a is 1, b is 6, c is 7. So, let me apply minus b minus 6 plus minus square root b square 36 minus 4ac so 28 over 2a a is 1 so 2 36 minus 28 is 8 8 means 2 root 2 square root 8 means 2 root 2 so it will become minus 6 plus minus 2 root 2 over 2 that means minus 3 plus minus root 2. So there are two values minus 3 plus root 2 and second value is minus 3 
माइनस रूट टू माइनस रूट टू सो इफ एक्स प्लस टू लेस देन जीरो दैट मीन्स एक्स इज लेस देन माइनस टू सो वी कैन राइट हेयर एक्स इज लेस देन माइनस टू इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज कंडीशन इज एक्स लेस देन माइनस टू नाउ चेक विच ऑप्शन इज एक्स लेस देन माइनस टू सो इफ यू विल चेक माइनस थ्री प्लस रूट टू दिस वैल्यू रूट टू इज वन पॉइंट फोर वन फोर माइनस थ्री देन इट विल बी माइनस वन पॉइंट सिक्स सो इट इज ग्रेटर देन माइनस टू सो दैट वैल्यू विल बी रिजेक्टेड बिकॉज इट इज नॉट लेस देन माइनस टू विच वन इज लेस देन माइनस टू दैट सेकेंड वैल्यू इज दिस वैल्यू इज लेस देन माइनस टू सो दैट मीन्स अवर सोल्यूशन इज फ्रॉम केस वन अवर सोल्यूशन इज माइनस थ्री माइनस रूट टू नाउ केस टू वेयर एक्स प्लस टू विल बी ग्रेटर देन जीरो लेट मी राइट हेयर केस टू x plus 2 greater than 0 in other words x greater than minus 2 so once x plus 2 greater than 0 then left side will be x plus 2 plus x plus 2 that means x plus 2 equal to x square plus 5x plus 5 take all the term to one side x square plus 4x plus 3 Equal to zero. I can see factorization is also you can apply here. The factors of three is three and one, so I split middle term. So I can write four x as x plus three x plus three equal to zero. Take x common, x plus one from the first two term, and three common from the last two term. So x plus one. Equal to zero, so factorization will be x plus one and x plus three. So x is equal to minus one, x is equal to minus three. So there are two solutions. Now, if I am drawing number line, this is minus one, this is minus two, and see x is greater than minus two. So my If you will consider x is minus one and minus three, this is minus three. So greater than minus two means this portion. That means so minus one is the correct solution. You cannot consider minus three because it is not in the domain which is given. That is x greater than minus two. so ultimately you have to take the intersection of x greater than minus 2 and the coming out solution so minus 3 is out of the bracket that is greater than minus 2 bracket x equal to minus 1 is the solution so from case 2 x is equal to minus 1 is the solution so overall if you will write solution will be equal to first solution was minus 3 minus root 2 and second solution is minus 1 so this is one this is another if you want to check you can put the value cross check both sides will come out equal thank you so much for watching if you didn't subscribe yet my channel please do thank you so much for watching